Right. So we have uh, these uh, several types of filtration in the water treatment plant. So the first one is the pressure filter system. So I have not seen the, uh, uh, the pressure filter system in Malaysia. So I'm not quite sure, okay, which part of the, uh, I don't know whether there are some water treatment plants that are using fil uh, pressure filter at their uh, treatment plant in Malaysia. But nonetheless, the most common filter being used are not pressure filter, but the gravity system, okay, whereby they don't use pressure. It's just an ordinary gravity system, okay. So this gravity system are uh, divided into two types. The first one is slow sand filter, and the other, the second one is the rapid sand filter. So RSF and also the SSF. Okay. So this one is the rapid sand filter. So they have a different layer of materials to act as the filter. So the water will be traveling from here and then get filter, get filtered, and then you will producing clean water. Right, this one, the slow sand filter, uh, the gravel and the sand are all mixed, okay? They don't have different layer and layer and layer. They are all mixed very, very well, okay? They just mix, okay? They don't have uh, layer after layer. So this is the slow sand filter and this is slower. But nonetheless, it is very, very effective to remove um, uh, microorganisms, okay? Uh, or is very effective in this infection process. So what are the differences between uh, in the slow sand filter and rapid sand filter? So as uh, you know, okay, when you have the slow sand filter, definitely the rate, the filtration rate will be slower than the rapid one. And then the slow sand filter require greater size of area compared to the rapid sand filter. And that's why rapid sand filter is more common compared to the slow sand filter in Malaysia, okay? Because you need to have a bigger size of area and you know that the area, I mean, the, the cost of a land is very expensive and that's why people opt to the rapid sand filter compared to the slow sand filter. Okay, the distribution of medium is not stratum. So they just mix everything together, gravel, small sand and things like that. But as for the rapid sand filter, they have a layer of the small particle and then they have smaller size of sand and then you have gravel, so very structured if you like, okay? And the size of the sand is greater than the rapid one compared to the SSF. So uh, I just want to ask you guys, eh, just to make it a little bit interactive, what does SE stand for? Anyone would like to give a try? Sand equivalent. Yes, that is very correct, Amiru. Okay, sand equivalent. That's the unit of the size of sand. Okay, so you can see for yes. the rapid sand filter, they have greater size of sand compared to the slow sand filter. And as for the washing method, okay, how do we clean up the filter? So for as for rapid sand filter, it uses a backwash method, and the other one for the slow sand filter, it's replace uh, the upper layers of sand. Okay, so I will explain it a little bit uh, later. Uh, the operation cost, SSF is low. The efficiency of this disinfection, as I mentioned just now, is a lot higher than the rapid one. And the expertise, it just need low. Okay, so it seems that rapid, a slow sand filter is very, uh, very good. Yeah? It can disinfect very well. The cost is very uh, low. The operational cost is low. Nonetheless, it's because it require a greater size of area, so that's why it's uh, it is probably not that popular, okay, compared to the rapid sand filter, and also the filtration filtration rate is very very slow, okay, and that's why it makes it not popular.